Okay, now you can see we have seen from this area, now we have seen prices running in an uptrend from this area. Now let's check it. This is main candle, uh, strand candle. Next, we are not recognized because this candle failed to break previous higher point. Have you seen? Next candle, this candle, we can say this is called master candle or that means this candle have two character. Okay, this is bank Nifty. I'll say uh, I'll tell you one by one how to enter in this market exactly. So now you can see next candle, this candle fail to break this previous higher point. That means this candle have last trend need both character. There should be confirm the trend and strength. This candle are confirming bullish trend and strength. They break this previous higher point. That means they have a more strength. But this candle don't have strength. This candle also indicating the trend, bullish trend. All right, uptrend, both are. But this candle don't have strength. So that is calculating or not counting this candle. All right. So next you can see this candle break previous higher point. So this is a strength and bullish candle. Same, these two candles fail to break. This is called uh, like low momentum candle, all right? And the next we have seen this is a higher point. Now we have seen two small candle or you can say inside bar after that they are forming a bearish candle. When bearish candle are forming, we must wait to break this last momentum and oh, sorry strand and bullish candle which which one last uh, bullish candle last one nearest last this candle have you seen this candle last candle now next they are forming here two inside bar after that they are this candle and they are forming candle in this area and those candle so we'll start selling breaking this lower point have you seen they must break this lower point we will start selling now we are ready to buy when will you start buying when they will break this previous higher point so this candle broke the previous higher point and this is our buy opportunity and remember if 20 moving average above one moving average so we will start only buy we never take any sell position blue and your yellow line both are exponential moving average let me show you this is 20 moving average exponential and this is 50 moving average exponential when 20 moving average run above 50 moving average so we will looking for buy into heck energy candlestick pattern right so first buy opportunity we have seen here somewhere they broke this area all right this is our buy opportunity now most of the people are looking for sell in this candle have you seen so we are not looking for sell we are looking for buy only right now, where is our buy entry? In that case, let me draw some line, right? So you will be able to understand. We have seen this is the last candle. Have you seen which one last bullish momentum candle? This one. Have you seen this one, right? They break previous higher point. And higher. We are looking for a candle, bearish candle, who broke this lower point. Where is the lower point? This is the lower point. And this candle broke and this candle broke. Lower point when they have broke this lower point now we are ready to buy we are not looking for sell anymore because 20 moving average still running 50 moving average 50 moving average so we are looking for buy where is our buy opportunity now opportunity let me tell you remember this point so this candle this red candle broke this previous lower point have you seen now we gonna remove from this area and we are looking for buy or we are looking for a bullish momentum candle right now can you can you count this candle this small candle 
No, we can't count because they are failed to break this higher point, bearish higher point. Now we have seen this candle, this candle broke the lower point in this area. So right now we are looking for buy. Where is our buy opportunity? Our buy opportunity are uh, at to 10 point above that candle. That means this bullish candle, right? We are looking for buy above this area. So let me show you. So in that case, I'm gonna draw a line then it comes to know properly. Now here you can see we have seen this candle and we are looking for at least four to five point from this area. Now you can see once they break, have you seen? Once they break this line, price continue toward upside. So we are not ready, we are not, uh, uh, looking for sell because 20 is running above 50 we are looking for all right so we place our buy order somewhere above and triggered buy and continue toward upside is it clear our buy and is it clear right and see price is running we have seen downtrend in this area downtrend right most of the candle are forming a strong bearish candle in this area have you seen in this area no, we are not looking for sell. Most of the people are entering short in this area. That is the big mistake. By using Hekanesi candlestick pattern, people are start selling in this area. Once they place sell order, look, price boom. Why did it happen? How we filter? We filter used by 20 and 50 exponential moving average because 20 are still running above one, uh, sorry, 50 moving average. We are looking for buy. Now, where is our buy opportunity here, right? Let me tell you. Last, we have seen this candle. Uh, you can say bearish momentum candle, this candle, right? This candle and they drop down and create a new low. Have you seen? And exactly here we have seen lower point. Now you can see this is the lower point. Exactly, I drawn a horizontal line by connecting this lower point, right? Exactly, I. We are looking for a bullish candle. Is it bullish candle? Am I looking for this candle? You just tell me. Am I looking this candle? This candle long? No, 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 no. We are not this candle because this candle have both side weak. Both side weak. We are not looking for this candle. Yeah, we are not looking for this candle. Next candle. Here we, here also we, both sides said, oh, we are not looking for this candle. Next, same candle here, we have seen weak point. Here weak point, or you can say, said, oh, we are not looking for this candle. Now we are looking for this candle who have one side, there is no lower shadow. And exactly right now, I will uh, draw a horizontal line. Let me take this horizontal, uh, sorry, let me take this horizontal line and let me connect here somewhere, higher point. All right, have you seen? We have seen this candle now, and I place a horizontal line here and I'm looking for buy here, at least five to 10 point. When I place buy here, this candle triggered my buy order. And now let I can see price on continue toward that. Is it clear? That is the secret of Hekanesi. And 60 to 70 percent, they are giving uh, correct uh, result, proper result, right? Uh, like win rate, you can say win rate. All right, so now you can see here, let me show you. Now you can see same running here, here, here. Now here is the big question. Most of the people are confusing here in this area. Let me, so here we have seen, this is last candle. Let me show you last candle. Where is the last candle? Uh, let me show you. This is the last candle. Have you seen? Yeah, definitely you can use five minute candle. Now this is the last candle. This is the last point and last candle, last bearish candle. We are not counting this candle because they have failed to break this lower point. So later, which candle we have seen, bullish candle, who is bullish candle? Somewhere here we have seen bullish candle, they broke this line. And once we place our buy order five to 10 point, they fail to hit 
or they fail to trigger our buy order and price drop down. Have you seen it? They fail to trigger our buy order. Is it clear? And price drop down. When price drop, we are ready to sell. Now, let me let me show you. After we have seen price drop from this area and then now moving average cross each other, 20 moving average running below, uh, what call? 20 moving average running below, 50 moving average. Now we are ready to sell. Now, have you seen any bullish candle here in this area? All white candle we have seen. Have you seen any bullish candle? We have seen bullish candle, but <clears throat> no bullish momentum or bullish strength candle are seen in this area. So still we are not getting any sell opportunity. Is it clear? There is no sell opportunity. Instead of price falling down, we never see candle, bullish candle in this area. Right? So we never gonna take sell. Now later we have seen here, we have seen they broke this line by forming a long strand bullish candle, price are continue, right? First, same, same thing, we first missed that opportunity. We are looking for same bearish candle who broke the previous lower point, have you seen? Now we are looking for same continue, again they are forming and after that we have seen this is a uh, last bearish candle right so when they are forming like that let me let me show you one by one then first we have seen this candle have you seen this candle where i pointing my mouse so we are looking for a bearish candle now next all candle inside in this candle all right so later we have seen this candle this candle broke the previous lower point and create new low still to buy now so now we are looking for a bullish candle so when we have seen a bullish candle appear in this area we place buy order somewhere here or in this candle somewhere here and when triggered our buy price continue toward upside all right in a 15 minute chart most of the people are trading in a 15 minute but most uh, important time time, oh sorry, five minutes. Uh, 15 minutes is most important time time, all right? Okay, let me show you yesterday, how it should look like that. So let's see in a yesterday, who people comes to know, I think yesterday was six, right? Where is the six, 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 six? Let me draw a line here. This is six and this is six, 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 six. Five, 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 five. Now from this area. Let's see. Have you seen? That was six, uh, the, uh, that was five December. All right. This portion, all right, from this area. This portion, five, I drawn this line, vertical line, and this is 6th December, right? 6th December, I think, uh, uh, yeah, yesterday. Okay, I'll tell you stop loss exactly where to place. All right, so one by one, first, first you just clear entry and exit point, right? Entry point, first, let me clear your entry point. So I'll tell you exit point or stop loss. So who people knows how to trade by using Hekanesi? Let's see yesterday what happened. All right. Clear. Now, this is 50 exponential moving average and the 20 moving average are running below. So what we are looking for now in which direction we ready to go? We are ready to go in a downside. We are ready to go only sell direction. We will take only sell position. We are not looking for buy. Now, let me show you. Bullish candle we have seen last here, this area. Let me draw a connecting this point. All right. 
so this was higher point all right so next candle they broke here in this candle all right first here was higher point and this candle form another new high and in that case we are looking for a bearish candle who break uh, who broke the lower point where is the lower point now so now you can see this is the lower point <clears throat> have you seen this is the lower point in this candle right this is the higher point and this is the lower point and which one beer is candle we are not counting this candle because he have both side he has both side weak or shadow so we are not counting this candle right fail next candle this candle has only one side weak this one that is called bearish uh, strength uh, momentum candle so we are looking for short for the sell so in that case i'll use sorry i'll use lower point where is the lower point have you seen point now when we tell order this candle triggered our sl where our where our sl now i'll show you now tell me this candle is last candle have you seen this candle bullish last candle right bullish last candle this one and we'll place our sl a little more above in this area right so and sl will be here is it clear your sl where is your sl kulbansin stop loss this is our stop loss stop loss is it clear entry and exit point now all right so once who people follow so let me show you continuously price is failing right continuously price is failing now you can see we have seen last bullish candle in this area this candle so let me draw directly here higher point let me draw higher point this candle last bullish candle and we are looking for a bearish breakout candle this candle broke and sell opportunity are there right here we have seen sell and the are already occurred and sl will be here sl are, are there and target you can set your according to your money management if you say this is one r and set your target at least two r right tell again anti point anti point anti point okay don't be confused if you have any doubt clearly let me know all right so now you can see uh this is current price let me zoom a little more and here we have seen yeah right it is perfect now last we have seen this is bullish momentum candle or trend is bullish but we are not looking for buy because 20 moving average is running below 50 moving average so we are not looking for sell oh sorry buy we are looking for sell now where we will enter sell that is the important now we are looking for last bullish candle we are not looking for weak candle dozy pattern type we are looking for pure bullish momentum candle which one pure bullish momentum candle last one right this candle all right so now we have seen higher point are there so above there we will place sl right now we are looking for breakout point where is the breakout points means so lower point where is the lower point here is the lower point have you seen is it clear this is the lower point now we are looking for a bearish momentum candle not like dozy pattern or whatever purely bearish momentum candle now where we have seen this bearish momentum candle this candle this bearish momentum candle broke the lower point we are not counting this candle this candle also broke that lower point but this candle is weak candle or dozy candle both side they have shadow that is why we are not counting we are counting this candle who have only one side weak. we have seen this this is the lower point now let's see we are looking for sell and d now let me let me 
was the line here now i drawn here exactly now i'm going to take sell position below this candle below this candle so now we can see this candle plays our sell order now this is our sell opportunity after breaking this lower point we are looking for sell and this area this point called one r or two r or whatever you are taking that means sl stop loss and target place at least two r somewhere here like that is it clear mr uh, just a minute subha <clears throat> yeah this is my channel name here you will be find me in this channel Dupen Gogoi, D W I P E N G O G O I Gogoi. You will find me here. This is YouTube channel name, Dupen Gogoi. Because in a live chart, I am analyzing there various trade. I'm, this type of trading strategy I am uh, explaining in my YouTube channel how to pick uh, stock for intraday within the five minutes this type of trading strategy because most of the people are useful from there and uh, so i'm trying to guide you whatever i can do if you have any doubt directly leave a uh, comment because every saturday i, I come in live with a webinar and you can talk with me but in between that area it is very difficult and you can can leave a comment so you will come to know and you can visit to my website also so i am writing there various type of trading strategies and my website profit.com and this is my website and i'm creating various type of trading strategy and various type of knowledge i am sharing with so here you can see what is the trend line why we need to draw two best trading strategy how to do position size management how to become a successful trader how to draw support and resistance how to trade with candlestick and price action how to choose stock uh, for the long term investment so i'm creating this type of uh, knowledge and uh, and go here basic knowledge so for uh, for new peoples or experience who don't know what make you successful on what criteria we have to see how to trade bond using fundamental how to uh stock trading elliot wave position uh, position calculator pivot point calculator you'll find many things are there and you can go through and read there i think definitely you will learn a little more all right okay so i'm creating some webinar also uh, sorry not webinar that is called uh, seminar also i am uh, giving seminars all over india like uh, recently we was in mumbai so there was seminar and the next i think in guwahati in assam some uh, seminar conducting they are inviting me so definitely i'll be there and next i think somewhere Bangalore or Chennai, maybe. So if somebody from that area, so definitely. All right. So I hope few people are able to understand how to buy Hekanesi. And from this webinar, I hope you learn a little more and I give them what I can do. So, so and uh, thanks for your valuable time uh, giving me. And so see you uh, in the next webinar on Saturday around 11 a.m with a new topic or new trading strategy. Okay, so thank you, bye-bye, see you.